My name is Amaret. I am a black woman creative entrepreneur. I am a mom of two amazing boys. I am a Los Angeles native, and I am the founder of a creative plant store in Los Angeles called Queen. Hair is very significant to me. Um, my hair journey has been very interesting. I know that I can go back into my pictures and look at my hair and know exactly what was going on in my life at the time, whether I was trying to get a certain job or whether I had just had a breakup. You know, every, I have cut my hair off, um, like big chopped my hair after every major breakup. If I didn't cut my hair after breaking up with you, I did not love you. <laughs> um, but it's just it's so much deeper than that. Um, having to do with the way we adorn ourselves, just going back for us as black women to the continent of Africa and hairstyles being so significant in our culture uh, all the way up until now. There's just so many nuances of how we style our hair, how we adorn our hair, um, and you know, sort of reflecting the times and how we feel about ourselves. Um, whether we are embracing our natural hair or whether we're trying to conform to society's standards of beauty. We've always done it in such a way that's unique and it's powerful and I really love being a part of black hair culture. My hair routine is pretty low maintenance these days. It's, I wash my hair a couple of times a week. I leave a bunch of conditioner in there to um, well, I leave about half of my conditioner in there, and I basically slick it into a bun with a little bit of gel. I always do my edges because I feel like that's the last thing. I'm not giving that up, you know? Like, I'm really busy. I have my kids. It's going to be a bun, but I'm at least going to have these baby hairs pop in. That's just, I'm holding on to that. I don't care if I am 44 and rocking baby hairs. It's, you know, there's no age limit to them. They're just called that, but, you know, I'm going to wear them, rock them to the day I die.